Oh, so decided to try hopefully my mic up today, see if it fixed it. We're in Frisbee today, quite the area, it's uh, a little bit more advanced for my taste, but got to try it sometime. Try this little jump here maybe, and try to get between the trees and probably get stuck. We'll see what happens. We're going to head around from this area, keep on going. I'm going to try to shoot up through these trees, see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get stuck again or sled on top of. I should be good for this. But. Sucked in again, kind of shitty. Here's what it is, though. Still trying to figure out the sled. It's, I took the sway bar out today, flat flops over a lot more. As you can tell, I'm not, not a very great rider, but got to try, it's the only way to learn. Cousin, he's doing pretty good this year, he's usually a little bit more timid, but he's going for it, so that's good. Last year, his sled is brand new to him, so he's a little bit really busting it up. Lost something in it? Yeah, look at this. That's one. That's one. That's one. Oh. I can tell you though, this is a lot different than the, the high country. At least the 13s and stuff this is way different. Out here, you got to be a lot more careful with it. and It's easier to ride in a sense, but you got to ride it. You can't let it ride you. If you overcorrect, it spins quickly on you. You ought to be ready for it. I've run into a lot of problems already with that. Uh, it's bucked me off more than a few times. Absolutely gorgeous out there. And yeah, like I said, snow's not great, but I'd rather be out here than at work. Um, for this sled, yeah, if you're looking at it for riding out west here, a little bit deeper snow, some trail riding, this sled is awesome. I don't think anybody's going to be diff uh, disappointed in it. It's not a straight mountain sled, it's not a straight trail sled, it kind of does both. If you got more snow most of the year, it'd be good. We just had a very low snow, even this area's got really low snow this year. 
Sara. <laughs> Sad, but like that, guys, we're not doing it on other sleds or not other cats on the uh, on the dudes. Yeah, the dudes lift. Cats don't. This thing, this thing lifts. So it's fun. <laughs> Can't tell, I'm starting to get a bit tired. <laughs> but. And yeah, it's trapped. It's all trapped out. Still having a ton of fun. I'm having way more fun on this sled than I would be my other one. So just keep that in mind guys, like you're not gonna go wrong with this sled. If I was good I could see some bow ties and hopovers and re and all that, that would be great, but that sled would be nice and short for that, nimble. Still stuck up there. This guy's girlfriend and wife now to come hopefully give him a hand. Tipped it the first time. <laughs> no snow flap, lots of base, you can reverse. It's awesome. Punch along a little further, see what else we can find. Actually, I might go down over here. Well guys, we're on our way out now, 
stuff from Frisbee. Really neat area. I just need a lot more experience uh, to be riding in here. A lot of fun, just not nearly as wide open as Boulder or other places have been to. And uh, as you can tell, I'm no true rider. None of us are. We do uh, enjoy the wide open a little bit more, more hill climbing, stuff like that. Um, I would like to try to get into a little bit of tree riding, but we'll see. It's, uh, all the guys that do it and all the videos you see on YouTube, yeah, they're good riders. You can watch them and you think you can just, yeah, let's just hit up the trees. Yeah, not quite. Not quite. Those guys know how to ride. I don't know which way you want to go, but... Stay on Groom Trail. I planted all the trees through here. See this? This tree riding I could get into until I had a stump to pull it off. This is a little wide open. More wide open. You can kind of pick your line a little bit better. Me, I see a tree and... Like Muskoka last, one of the videos I watched of him, and he's like, you see the tree, you hit the tree. Well, that's me. So, a little wider open. A tree right like that would be nice. Beautiful trails up here, really fun. Nice scenery. I did take the uh, sway bar out. It is a lot more tippy. I, I wouldn't be running it back home like this. Uh, first time ever using cameras to, or uh, radios. Radios are the way to go. It's nice. Keep in contact with the group here, what they're doing, where they are, if you're lost, if you're stuck. Never used them before. Really happy we got them now. Take a picture here. All the fog down in the valley. The moon in the background. Oh, oh, nice block of ice down there. Oh, get to that later. But so far, very, very happy with the sled. Right now, my temperature, I got no snow flap on, running hard pack. Yep, yeah, and uh, my scratches are down, but I'm really surprised that I'm sitting at 98. So scratches are doing their thing, and even with no snow flap, it stays cool. You know what, Nathan, that's funny you with your camera on? Okay, <laughs> good. <laughs> hey guys, uh, this is one of the pretty shitty icy hills we had to come up. It's probably not going to show it short in camera, but oh yes. I'm just sliding the whole way. But it is what it is. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. This one coming up, it looked a lot worse. It wasn't so bad, it's over that top ridge here we go. We're going to try a different way of going down instead of going coming up the way we came up. Because it, uh, well, this is what I don't like. There you go, a bit of traction. That's all oh, good. Lots of rocks to grab onto. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, nice boulders. Love them. Oh, yeah. yeah, going up was a little more dicey just because you're spinning out. But that one wasn't so bad. That one you could get traction. It's the one coming up around here. Is where the cousin was stuck and I slide sideways, he almost went over the edge and broke his scratchers and 
We're going to try to avoid that spot coming back here and see what happens. Kind of a crazy little ride up. We're not too sure if we we're going to do it after this little section, but glad we did. It was a good day out there. It was a uh, productive day. Cousin broke his scratchers. Uh, he ended up in the creek, which I wish I would have caught on video, but didn't. Should have got him, but we're coming up that hill. There's where we all spun out, and it was pretty tough getting up. So we'll try going around it this time and see see if it's a better trail. Not really. This isn't sledding, guys. This is. But, once you get through here, oh! That's why I got the guards. Chain case and brake disc. Just in case, <laughs> oh, man. sliding all over. Ah, well, for That's skittish, but now we're, <laughs> we're pretty much on the home run now. But as I said, good day. Couple broken scratchers. Uh, cousin ended up in the creek. I ended up in a tree well. Uh, I ended up flipping the sled on top of me. Not very fun, but nobody's hurt. But, uh, if uh, all that's broken is scratches, that's, that's not bad. Nobody's broke any plastics. Nobody's broke their sled, handlebars, nothing like that, so it's good. Uh, well, it just broke. I feel so bad for this machine, brand new machine. So are my uncle's brand new machines, but here's what it is. Sometimes uh, you just don't get the amazing conditions. It's just it just happens. But yeah, trying to come up here, get traction. Well, we're just spinning the whole way. Uh, trying not to go over the edge. Yeah, it, was a, it was a good day, funny day. I just wish there was a little bit more on camera for you guys. And I know I'm doing a lot of talking here. Hopefully you don't mind, I don't know. I don't really know what, what all to talk about, what to all show you guys. Um, if the conditions are better, there would be a lot more uh, filming. It's just, there's nothing, nothing too much. And it's just really, really unfortunate that the uh, camera doesn't pick up the steepness and the angles as much as I'd like it to. It doesn't show, show how crazy some of the stuff is that you're able to climb up. A couple of those hills that I climbed, I looked at them, I'm like, yeah, there's no way. I'm more worried about it bouncing me into the trees or downhill or up the side of the other side of the hill. But yeah, now the sled just goes right up. And obviously, this uh, snow's all set up, so it's pretty good. But I still can't can't believe what you're able to to go up and climb up with these machines. It's just wild.